just don't stop coming, bro. Stop. I think we're getting a little bit ahead here. So let's rewind a bit and go back to when Escape from Tarkov and Custom was hella new to me. So in today's video, we're gonna cover my early successful raids on Customs. So this is really early and when I started to play Customs, I focused almost 100% on questing. And I hanged around the big red a lot in the beginning because of uh, the quests. And I really did like the looting around there. And I guess because I usually had that spawn, so I got really used to that area compared to the rest of the map. So let's just take a look here at a few of the more exciting first encounters that I had there. He's behind me. Oh. oh my god, dude. Fucking adrenaline, dude. So after my first ever successful one before in Tarkov, I headed into the big red and used one of the first keys I got, which is the customs office key. This was my top loot spot at the time, and surprisingly, I wasn't alone with that either. I'm just gonna push and spray. Is it a tree? Hello, motherfucker. And then I had some spawns on the other side, and they really didn't go as well even if I had action instantly. Oh, no, no, dude, I forgot them. Why did nobody say anything? No! Fuck, dude! I managed to get another spawn on the right side. This time around, I at least managed to get some ammo with me. And I was on the quest where I needed scab sniper kills, so that was my main focus. And I might have focused just a tiny little bit too much on it. Just have a look here. Enemy spotted. Nope. Just do it. do it! Nothing is impossible. You should get to the point where anyone else should quit. And you're not gonna fucking stop kidding them. me, dude. Nope. No! 
What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Where's the fucking button for searing? How do you sear in this game? Yes, you can! Just do it! No, that's not even a fucking scab, bro. <laughs> So the questing on customs continued. So let me tell you the story about the sunny and peaceful customs. So it was a sunny and peaceful day on customs and Scare wanted me to install a Wi-Fi camera in a bush. I had no idea why he wants a camera there, but it felt a little bit creepy. I'm not going to lie. So I peacefully walked my way there and started to install this pesky camera thinking nothing about it. Then all of a sudden I start to hear footsteps. And little Timmy comes and tries to take a shit in the bush. So I had to put little Timmy to sleep. Luckily though, I wasn't done with installing the camera. Because otherwise, I don't know what scare would have told me. So I kept installing and hiding the camera. While Timmy was sleeping next to me in his own shit. It took me quite some time though, but I got it done. I started to make my way to the boat when all of a sudden I heard something in the bush. It was Timmy's brother Jimmy. So I put him down to sleep as well since it was also past Jimmy's bedtime. So as that nice guy I am, I grabbed Jimmy's loot so nobody else would steal it when he was sleeping so peaceful. I decided to make my way to my favorite hut to take a little nap. I woke up to some loud footsteps vibrating so much into my hut and who was it if it was not Jimmy's and Timmy's big brother Kimmy. He looked tired as well and I guess that's why he was coming to the hut so I put him down to sleep as well. I made sure nobody else was disturbing me and I went back to sleep once again. But once again I woke up to loud footsteps but this time around I was really scared because he clearly was running from dorms. So I went and checked, and it was Dorm's Elite Killer 420. So I destroyed the shit out of him and packed my loot. Why is everybody coming to my hut, bro? What the fuck my hut done to them? <laughs> what the fuck? These four people are on the same spot, dude. Since I killed Dorm's Elite Killer 420, I decided I would for the first time make my way to the scary dorms. Between you and me though, I was terrified about dorms at the time and I only went there so I could extract safely with the car. But yeah, don't uh, tell anybody, okay? So I kept moving to dorms and when I got there, I could see that the car had already left. So I decided against my own will and followed pharmacist's will to go into two-story dorms and try to grab the case with the device. Only for later to forget to turn in the case and go and die the next raid and fail the quest. But this is of course something only future wids would know. So I went in, I grabbed the case and I ran as fast as I could to the extraction because I didn't want to miss my favorite TV show, uh, Gossip Girl. Yeah, it's... Don't, don't judge me here, okay? So the extraction complete and another day in Tarkov was over. The end. Good fucking first raid, guys. I feel like what I could have done more to get more loot is to take their bullets, right? So around this time, I started to get a bit more confident on the map, so I didn't dare to go into dorms early, but I was walking fairly slowly outside, trying to get more used to it, and I have no clue how I managed to do what you're gonna see right now. Dead, bro. <laughs> so I don't know how I survived this, but I ended up fixing my limbs. Then I looted the guy, and the second guy must have ditched. So I just moved on in hope of extracting. But of course, it wasn't gonna be that easy.
then I had a quest in the three story dorms, so I had to get there. So I think this was my first time in the three story dorms. So I got in on the second floor and I just heard some people shooting. So I quickly hid in the first room available and I was so, so scared. That's two. Is that three? I wanted to shoot so bad. How do they not see me? Can I kill those or were they slicks? Yeah, I just want to be safe and get this quest done. Fucking tree stack, bro. It didn't end up that well since I was fairly new and I really did make a lot of misplay especially in the end but I shrugged that away and it was time again to get to the dorms. I got hosted by my friend Macho and I asked chat if they thought I should go to the dorms and everybody in chat of course told me to do so so I went for it. Little did I know what was waiting for me at the dorms. Like it's so much about sounds but you can play aggressive. It's just like I'm not at that point yet. Because it's also like RPG-ish. So this is for a quest. That's right above me. We could have just completed a quest there, shot. I need the L4X. There's two more. If I open the door... Okay, one went right, one is left. I'm fucked. I'm just gonna push out and pre-fire. Do they not know I'm here? Let's fucking go, dude. That's a fucking 1v4, dude. And we out of ammo. Woo! Holy shit, man. Dave is fucking got destroyed, dude. Oh, level 4 low. Jesus. Tell me another game where you can get this adrenaline, guys. There's no other game where you can get this adrenaline. I assume a lot of you guys played Division, right? And you played Dark Zone and you think that's adrenaline? Try this fucking game. 
Like, you can't beat the adrenaline, dude. Like, you just can't. So yeah, I got my second 1v4 and I was really surprised how that went down in dorms. But yeah, that my friends are my most successful early raids on customs. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please let me know in the comment section below what you liked and didn't like because I put quite a lot of time into this one. I tried a lot of different things when it came to the editing instead of my just normal highlight videos. So if you think I should keep trying like this in terms of videos, please let me know. If you did enjoy the video, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button for more. And if you want to catch me live, then you can find me on twitch.tv slash wids. But that's it. See you guys in the next one.